Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn in a, a very very easy way how Appium works. So do not worry if you do not know Appium or have not worked or know about Appium earlier. We will go very basic from scratch. So Appium works in a client server architecture. So in a client server design we have a client and we have a server and client and server can talk to each other with a protocol over some network. Now in Appium also we have an Appium client and a Appium server and Appium is a HTTP server written on Node.js platform. So when you download and when you install Appium you are actually installing the Appium server. If I go to Google and just search for Appium and here I will get this very first option which is the Appium official website. I will go here and here you can see this is Appium official website and if I go down you can see this is the setup process so you can see using this command npm install minus g appium we can install appium so appium is a node.js application also if I go to this introduction page again here you will find appium is a server written in node.js and we can just use this command npm install minus g appium to get appium we will learn this later but for now you can just understand appium is a http server on node.js so when we install appium we are actually installing the appium server so what is appium client now so appium client is actually the client libraries which are written in multiple programming languages like java python c sharp javascript ruby php and robot framework and we download these libraries and then use them into our automation frameworks for example if i want to create a apm automation framework in java i will get the java apm client libraries add them into my framework and then i can use its functions so here again if i show you the client libraries you can see these are apm clients and here if i click on this link I will provide all these links in the description of this video so you will get all these links so you can see here we have all these client libraries and these are their links from where we can get them so this is what APM client is now the APM client or whatever uh, code we create using these client libraries is when we run our code or request it goes to the APM server and then APM server in turn performs the action on the application on the mobile device and it can support Android, iOS and Windows platform. So this is in a very very simple of way the flow of APM. Now if we go a little more deeper let us see our APM client, our APM server and we know the APM client libraries in different programming languages. We send the request to the server however we cannot directly send the request in the format in which we have written our APM client or our code for APM uh, platform or framework. So APM server understands some particular format which is HTTP RESTful format and here we use JSON via protocol. So JSON via protocol converts our client request into HTTP REST format that can be understood by the APM server and once we have sent our request which is converted by the JSON wire protocol to the APM server, it then performs the action on the mobile device. Now here again it cannot directly access and perform the action on the application. Here we use some vendor specific drivers. For example, if you are using an Android device, we use UI Automator or Cylindroid. And again if I go to this page, APM introduction, I can again show you these drivers. So here you can see the vendor provided frameworks or drivers are these. In case you are using iOS 9.3 or above, this is XCUI test for iOS 9.3 and lower. UI automation for Android we have UI automator and earlier we used to use Selendroid for version 2.3 and lower. And for Windows, this, this is Windows application driver. So these are the vendor specific driver and using these we can access the application and do actions on the application. So for iOS it is UI automation and XCUI test driver or frameworks and for Windows phone it is Windows application driver. So this is how we uh, use APM and this is how APM interacts. Now this is a very simple diagram. So APM client using these different 
programming languages or libraries json via protocol converts the request goes to apm server apm server then uses the vendor specific drivers to interact with the application and we can use this on android ios or windows platform now another very important thing in apm architecture is desired capabilities and desired capabilities is a set of keys and values which are sent to apm server to tell the server what kind of automation session we are interested in starting up if i go again to this introduction i can just show you the desired capabilities so you can see desired capabilities are a set of key value pairs which are sent to the apm server and here you can see into more details so desired capabilities are a set of key value pairs which can include platform name platform version device name app name and so on and this is how you can see one of the examples in javascript if i go to google and search for apm desired capabilities code and i will go to the images section and here you can see a different example so for example you can see this is a java code for desired capabilities so this is how we can set the capabilities device name platform name uh, platform version so here it is android 6.0 and we can also set it using uh, apm desktop so here is an example of apm desktop all this we are going to learn this is just for example so we can also set these desired capabilities from the apm desktop device name platform name platform version and so on so here these are some of the links so here we also send the desired capabilities along with our request and desired capabilities go as a json object to the apm server and then it performs the action accordingly now here are some useful links which i will provide in the description as well and i believe now you have a very clear understanding on how apm works now you can go confidently and explain about how apm works in an interview or generally and you now have a complete understanding of this concept you can watch this video again if you have missed anything and in the coming sessions we will start creating our automation framework with apm i hope this all was very useful for you thank you for watching